Remove the shoe. Remove the shoe. No shoe, no wrong. Papa, shoe, no. Take your passport. Take your passport. Take your passport. Take your passport. This is for your passport. Yeah, me for your passport. Yeah, me for your passport. Interesting, right? <laughs> so there is a passport uh, manufacturing machine in the pastor's leg, and then <laughs> sometimes when we see things like this, we we'll just try to ignore it. And I've already said it, right? I know I get a lot of backlash from people say, "Oh, leave church, focus on religion, leave religion, leave church, focus on politics." The truth is, if we want to get this country right, we need to get a lot of things right right this drama right? this is not a crime though right it's not a crime it's just too much drama and the point is you want to ask to what end is this even being done so that is where you must get interested right as much as he has not committed a crime what he's done is acted a movie in presence of his members but they want to ask why will he go to this extent of putting putting uh, passport inside the shoe to produce for this young man and then the man saw the passport you'd not open it to check if it's your name of course they would not have done all that a lot of the time if it's when is it so it <laughs> oh wow well. so and when you ask these people where where, where is the um, scriptural reference to this thing they'll tell you that jesus christ needed to pay tax one time so i understand divine intervention and like I've said, I've said it all my videos, and I'll say it continually. I'm a Christian, and I will defend this faith continually. But you see these errors like this, I will not stand for it. I will not. Whether you say I'm attacking the body of Christ, no problem. But I'm sure that even Jesus himself took whip and went to the temple to cleanse it. He cleansed the temple. He wiped and flocked people because they were doing buying and selling. That's what's happening in our church today. This is too much of merchandise, transactional. So they deceive, manipulate, convince, cajole, hypnotize, things like that, to get the attention because gullible people has to fall. That is the point. And so that's why you can never tell me you're a Christian, even if you don't do video like me, even if you don't have a, even if you are not okay, petty, yeah, petty, or courageous enough to have this conversation in public places, just like I do. You will not see this and be happy because it is dainty, it is dangerous, it is irritating, it is embarrassing, it's shameful, and it is wrong. Unfortunately, we now have a system of the church where there is no control on supervision, there is no management, so to speak. It doesn't work like that in civilized societies. And like I've always said, conveniently, and this is respectfully said, if we, if the development we are seeking for this country comes as it were, some of us cannot stay, some of us cannot survive, some transactions cannot flourish, some businesses. Am I saying that in the US, in the UK, in Australia, in Canada, there are no shambles or shenanigans and drama and some stuff like this? Yes, but it's very minimal. In fact, in fact, a lot of the times you have to create a legal aid to some of these things that you do and it's pretty because you have to explain to certain authorities. Who do these guys explain to? Even amongst the faith of Christendom, the PFN, the CAN, there are no bodies that tend to sanitize. I, mean, I understand that everybody has got right to the interpretation of whatever assignment God gave, but some things need to be clear. Needs to be clear. The last time we ever had one um, sort of was during the TB Joshua Papa Ayo Research Force era when he said the form that he feed did not carry the name of his spiritual father and a couple of other origin or foundation of his um, assignment, and then they ignored him. Yeah, a lot of us had issues with that and said no because of the humanitarian part of TBG or nobody. But then that's factual. It's quite factual. People want to know where you are coming from, right? People hated on Papa Ayo, but then, and they say people want to have a better country. Now there is a president in the office who doesn't have classmates, who does not have an origination, or doesn't doesn't have um, an origin of where he went, went to primary school. In fact, the school he said he went to was established after he said he graduated. But people are complaining. But when somebody asks where is the man of God coming from, you say we should shut up. You see the, the, the contrast, you see the, the, the hypocrisy, so to speak. If we truly want to have a good country, we question some of these things and ensure that they are well interpreted because 
These things cannot happen in civilized country. You are pretty. You will bring that leg to public place and pretty more passport. There are people that are hungry. People want to travel, want to jackpot. They are spending thousands of naira. So if you can print passport, why are you stressing people? I am not saying that miracles cannot happen. I am not saying that there is no reason for supernatural intervention in some cases. It does, right? God, God brought manna at some point to of Israel. That's it. God can once a while. God delivered Jonah through a fish. Intervention, spiritual intervention. But a lot of times, people now turn this in. Just like the issues of miracle water, uh, handkerchief, mat, and all these things. They are diff- they are, they are, their explanation to it is that, do you know that it cannot be like say, I didn't preach. But some of these things offends me, so to speak. It offends me. And that's why I keep saying, if you're a Christian, you go to church, and the focus of your ministry is not the word of God, being given to you as an empowerment tool. You are joking. You are not in the church. The first thing, forget apostolic, forget prophetic, word of God. See, when the word of God is rich in you, you can do diverse things. The word of God rich in a being can, can, can break shackles, can break chains. The word of God in Luke 10, 19. They shall tread upon serpent as compious. That is the word of God that is rich in you. You cannot wake up and go. So it means that when these things happen, the word of God in you will be activated. But you see all this drama that happens in the name of looking for signs and wonders. These signs shall follow them. Some of them have never given their life to Christ. Because you cannot, if not me, be your papa, you do this kind of thing. What is this? What was this drama for? Who not, who not the entire? And there are people that will say, don't talk about pastors. Leave my pastor alone. Ah, bada, bada. Don't put my pastor picture. Shoot God for her, not till they happen. Tell your pastor to do well. Because you see, if this country would work, if it will really work, a lot of this nonsense cannot continue. See, development and manipulation cannot remain in the same place because the pop, the, the system would fight anything that tends to. Share this with me, somebody. See, I'm out of here. Man, not to talk.